Manitou TS Air Service and Travel Adjustment. This video covers TS Air Spring and Air Piston Service and Travel Adjustment for these Manitou forks. This service requires removal of the outer legs or casting. Please refer to our threaded casting service video before proceeding. Assemble these tools and parts and let's get started. On the top of the left leg, unscrew the air cap and attach a shock pump. Note the air pressure. Depress the pressure bleed button until the pump reads 0 PSI. Remove the shock pump. Depress the Schrader valve a few times with a 2 mm hex wrench to ensure all air is released. Use the Manitou 24 mm flat ground socket to rotate the air spring top cap counterclockwise. Apply top down force on the tool to prevent slipping. Continue until the threads completely disengage from the stanchion and remove the top cap. Invert the fork to prevent the air spring from falling out upon removal. Use a 22 mm wrench or adjustable wrench to rotate the air spring end cap counterclockwise. Continue until the threads completely disengage from the stanchion. Remove the assembly and clean it with isopropyl alcohol and a lint-free towel. The assembly consists of the compression or comp rod, retaining clip, retaining nut, top-out spacer, travel spacer, top-out bumper, negative spring, end cap, bottom-out bumper, bottom-out spacer, washer, comp rod seal. Inspect each part for wear or damage and replace where necessary. The machete's travel can be modified from 80 to 120 millimeters using 10 and 20 millimeter spacers available at ManitouMTB.com. With the air spring assembly removed, cleaned, and inspected, you can make travel adjustments. Refer to the guide in the machete service manual at ManitouMTB.com to determine the appropriate combination of spacers. To achieve the desired travel, begin by carefully removing the retaining clip. Remove the retaining nut using a 17 mm wrench rotating counterclockwise. A 6 mm hex wrench inserted in the bottom of the comp rod can provide additional leverage to loosen the retaining nut. Remove the top out spacer. You may now install the correct travel spacers for the desired travel configuration. You may need to remove the negative spring to slide the top out bumper into place based on the number of spacers installed. Then replace the negative spring, travel spacers if needed, and top out spacer. Install the retaining nut rotating clockwise. Insert a 6 mm hex wrench into the bottom of the comp rod. Using a 17 mm crowfoot wrench, torque the retaining nut. Finally, install the retaining clip. From the top of the left leg, the air piston can be removed for service. Either push the piston down through the bottom of the leg with a long dowel rod, or thread an M6 by 1 by 50 mm bolt into the top of the piston and pull it out through the top of the leg. Inspect the air piston and piston seal for wear or damage and replace if necessary. Once the piston is removed, clean the inside and outside of the stanchion with isopropyl alcohol and a lint-free towel. Be careful not to scratch the stanchion surfaces. 
inspect for scratches or other damage. Use a light to help identify areas of concern. To install the air piston, first, liberally grease the piston quad seal and outer surface with slick oleum grease. Add slick oleum grease to the upper stanchion threads before inserting the air piston. Spread the grease across the entire thread surface. Install the air piston by pushing it past the upper stanchion threads. Add 3 cc of slick oleum grease to the top of the air piston. The piston height will be set automatically when air pressure is added in a later step. Install the air cap onto the top of the left stanchion. Rotating clockwise, start the threads by hand to prevent cross-threading. Use the Manitou 24mm flat ground socket to tighten. Make sure to apply top-down force on the tool to prevent slipping. Prepare the air spring assembly for install by greasing the negative spring. Then, install the assembly into the stanchion. Start the end cap threads by hand to prevent cross-threading. Use a 22mm wrench and tighten by rotating clockwise. Use a 22mm crow foot and torque wrench and torque to 80 to 100 inch pounds. You have completed the TS air spring service, air piston service, and travel adjustment and are ready to reinstall the casting. Refer to our threaded casting service video to complete the entire process. Refer to the service guide found at manitoumtb.com for air pressure recommendations based on rider weight and fork travel setting. Please continue to our YouTube channel and manitoumtb.com for more maintenance procedures and assembly instructions. Thank you for riding with Manitou.